Hi, Cindy here. Good morning. Uh, greetings to you today. I want to just talk a little bit about the Lord's goodness over our lives and coming into bounty and sufficiency and the Lord's provision. And I have done uh, quite a journey over the last, oh boy, six to ten years of the Lord's provision. And um, coming into newness and coming into bounty and coming into um, a care of the Lord that I hadn't always experienced or recognized that and this has all been increasing in my life but what I've been noticing is that I'm not any more settled than what I was before and that even uh, my heart almost worries more now than it did before. It's been a really, really interesting thing. So, I, I, you know, I've realized what's going on is that actually it just shows up what's in my heart and that we can come into the keeping of God in a way that is beyond what we've experienced before, but it doesn't necessarily take away from us um, our heart that worries or our heart that is discontent and that actually uh, so provision or finances or um, like having everything that we need to go forward doesn't automatically inform our hearts that this is the new reality that this is uh, the new thing and that it's a good thing uh, we ha seem to have this thing within us that um, you know, bounces back to the way it was and that can't quite trust what has been established, re-established or newly established within our lives. So this is actually some of what I've been personally working through lately and it's been, it's been frustrating actually and it's been interesting to say the least and revelatory. I've realized again that uh, my heart doesn't always trust God, even though with my mind I can go forward, I can, you know, make plans and I can override uh, my fears that this actually isn't the way I want to be living, quite frankly. I, I want that default setting of fear gone. I want worry, you know, just really washed away by the Lord. and. So each day, I've been coming back to the Lord fresh and new and just giving Him my worries and giving God my fears. Uh, looking at them full in the face and naming them and saying out loud what they are, which uh, is a great way of mm, validating fear, meaning that what it's trying to protect us from, okay, sure, it might be doing a good job there, but actually uh, we don't need the fears and the worries to keep doing that job because we're well and good in the Lord's hands and in God's provision and care for us. Uh, and you know it's an interesting thing to settle into sufficiency and well actually I don't even know that that would be sufficiency. Sufficiency would be without the fear and without the worries. Uh, but we can settle into bounty and still not have sufficiency. and. It's just a really interesting journey. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of um, how I've been navigating it uh, because maybe you're finding yourself in a similar, similar place or maybe you're thinking, you know, when such and such happens or when this or that comes together, then I won't be worried anymore, then I won't be afraid anymore. But I'm telling you, if worries or fears are a part of your internal makeup of uh, habit within yourself, they're still going to be there even after good things come your way. So we need to actually um, learn a greater authenticity and a greater transparency with ourselves and with God and, and potentially even of course with each other so that we uh, can encourage each other to come into sufficiency. That even when things are going well, um, that we can actually fully receive that and rejoice in that. and and settle into that uh, without concern of what has been or what might be, but just to be in each day. So this is some of what I've been uh, walking through and freshly learning because um, 
The Lord's care over my life just continues to increase. Uh, the abilities to, to make things happen, take care of business, so to speak, uh, continues to increase. And so my heart has to come into this new of the Lord as well and it's it's an interesting process so uh, may you also just settle into the Lord's bounty and may um, any anxiety or stress or worries or fear uh, about your days may you rest them in the person of Jesus Christ and in uh, God the Father and within the care of our Holy Spirit because there's no need to go through life um, over thinking things necessarily, you know what I mean? So, blessings on you today, and thanks for letting me share this.